part two. Here we go. I've got to pull this back out, clean up the last bit of the welds on the top right here. I've got some exhaust wrap. I'm going to wrap the actual header down to the first flange, and then I can start putting the second flange on. I got another flange kit for the rear over the rear diff. I need to run the straights. So it's going to be just a bunch of welding and stuff like that, tacking it into place, making sure it fits, and then pull it back out, finish weld it, and then put it all back together. And then we'll do a sound check, see what it sounds like. First, I need to get the rear end jacked back up and then tighten up the header so that I know it's exactly where it's going to go and then start running the straights back. All right, don't have a camera guy today, so it's kind of difficult to get everything filmed. I've been trying to do time lapses and whatnot, so not really catching a lot of the details. If you guys have any questions, comment in the comment section below. I should be able to answer them. But so far, I've got the mid pipe. I got a flange on both ends. The header is back out. I've got the support bracket welded on to mount to the side of the block so the exhaust header doesn't move and damage the exhaust manifold gasket. I got all that welded up. It is ready to wrap. So I'm soaking my wrap right now. I got some hose clamps coming so I can clamp it off at the top. Still need to clean off a couple of welds up there, but then I can put that back in, bolt it all down properly, bolt this to it with the hanger, and then finish off the rear section where it splits into two and comes out around my jack point where I'll eventually have a diffuser. Let's see if we can see under here. Basically gonna have a pipe coming out here and here. That way the jack can still go between them to get to the jack points, but gotta come through here. So just waiting on the hose clamps to get here so I can wrap the header, put it back in. Doodly doodly do. Step by step, knocking it out. Got the header wrapped. And I also put the rest of the wrap I had left at the section where it goes underneath the tunnel and the shifter because it tended to get kind of warm because I don't have carpet in the car. So that is done. I'm going to let that sit up for a minute, put the header back in, mount that to the header, and then I can finish the rear section as it comes out the back. All right, we're at the back. We've got a flange outputting right there. So now I need to do a split with the pipe I have left. So I'm gonna show you how to make a Y out of a straight piece of tube. So not pointing any fingers, Tyler Fialco, but here's how you do a Y, not a lowercase Y. You're gonna wanna take the amount of tube you need to make the Y have more than enough here and then you're gonna cut it at a very severe angle this can be tricky on round tube if you have a bandsaw it makes it a lot easier I've been dealing with these cutters since I was probably 10 years old so fucking 30 years old we got a 30 year old man it's nothing new to me but what we're gonna do is cut a very severe slice more than a 45 it's probably I'd say like a 33 depending on how how much of your Y you want. A 45 is going to give you kind of almost a 90. 33 will give you an actual Y cut. So I'm going to cut it right here, then I'll show you. Right. So obviously you clean these edges up, then we're going to tack it together like this, make it a little smoother. That'll give us our Y shape. Once we tack it together, we can take a piece of this pipe and but 
I'll show you. I got something in my eye. All right, so now we can put a couple of tacks. This part over here is gonna get cut off, so don't worry about tacking over here. You really just wanna make the fronts in the V line up. We're gonna put a couple tacks to hold it in place, and then I'll show you the next part. So now we have our Y, or I should say a V, and then you take your original piece of pipe and you slide it on just like that. And then what you can do is scribe where it lines up. Now obviously it's not lining up perfectly. There's a little bit of air gap on either side of it. But once you get this metal out of the way, you can obviously cut more and more. You can measure twice, cut once, etc. So never cut off more than you need to. Do it once, measure it again, cut it again. So now we're gonna cut off that nipple there and then we'll slowly slide this pipe on, cutting more and more until it fits perfectly and then we can weld it together and we'll have a Y. So now you see we have an opening that still is slightly too small because we don't want a restriction. So we're gonna keep cutting this back until it fits perfect. Closer, better, warmer. And there you have it, a Y. You can cut off a piece here. Once we get it figured out where we want it over there, I'm gonna go ahead and weld this up and then we can finish the rear of the exhaust. All right, I got the Y piece with the last flange finished. I had it bolted in, just pulled it out. I'm gonna finish weld all of it up and then put it back in and we'll give it a test fire. All right, so thanks for watching the exhaust video. I uh, just hit 700 subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing and liking the content. If you have any comments or questions about the exhaust build, comment below and I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability. Also be sure to go to my big cartel in the section below and purchase a sticker for bucks shipped anywhere in the United States. So as always guys, like if you like, subscribe if you want and keep on modding.